Hey guys, what's going on? It's Zach, and today we are back with some more Subnautica. If you guys did miss the previous episode, basically we went over and explored the Aurora. We also went out into the mushroom area and explored over there a little bit, found some nice fragments. But today, we're going to be doing something big, team. Today we're going to be finding the Cyclops, and we're going to be attempting to build it. I know, it's a big order for us today, but I think we can do it. So we're going to come over to here, we're going to store away, actually, we're going to come back here, and we're going to store away some stuff. Because we are going to need plenty of space in our Cyclops. If we are going to do this, let's get rid of all this extra stuff. Let's get rid of the spare fire extinguisher. All of these batteries can go on chargers. Like, unless they're 100%, they can go over here on the charger. 100, 100, okay, okay. Zero, and 100. All right, we got plenty of batteries. You know, let's actually swap out all of these ones for new batteries. Just because we're already here. We might as well throw in some new batteries onto here. Let's throw all of these on. There we go. And you know, let's also get our laser cutter the battery in that one swapped out too. Just because, might as well. And here we go. Last of the batteries going on to the chargers. Alright. Now we are all ready to go out. So we're going to be finding the Cyclops today, team. And we are going to be attempting to build it. Because the Cyclops is slightly... Actually, I don't know. Is the Cyclops easier than the prawn suit to build? I doubt it, but you know what? We're gonna need the Cyclops anyways, because it's gonna let us transport the prawn suit around easier. Plus, it'll just give us a little mobile base that we can work from. So there is a place I know of where we can find the remaining Cyclops fragments we need, and it's over here right behind the Aurora. Now, the reason why I haven't gone over here is because it is riddled with Reapers. In case you guys don't remember, Reapers are the little giant crazy looking things. That we ran into last at the end of the last episode, or well, towards the middle of the last episode, really. Once we got out of the Aurora, that's when we ran into it. It was over there by the end of it. But now we're coming over here into their domain. We are going to attempt to find the rest of the Cyclops parts. I think we can handle it. But if you guys did miss the last episode, go check it out. There's a link down below. Get yourselves all caught up. Here we go, team. Here we go. So you know what? We need to stick close to the bottom. There's one. There's one right there. Alright. Is that... I think that's the hull. Yep. Oh, wait. No, it's the bridge. This is the piece we need, team. These are the pieces we need. Alright. Uh, you know what? Let's... Mm, I don't want to leave the seam off here, but at the same time, I don't want to take it in. Because it could very easily get destroyed in this area. Alright. We just need to be careful, okay? We don't have any sort of defense system. So we can't fight them off if they come at us. Alright. Let's just get down to the ocean floor very quickly. Let's see, do we need the engine? I think we still need at least one engine piece. Just stay low. Alright, stay low, and they won't see us. Is that piece behind us? Nope, that's quartz. Saying that, quartz could be pretty good. See, that is a little container. There's a bridge fragment right here. Let's grab this. Here we go. Some dangerous area right now, team. You know what? Actually, let's get some metal salvage right here. There it is. There's the Reaper up there. Let's grab the smell savage. Now we get back. Grab these. And we hurry back to the sea moth. Alright, where we're at least semi safe. Wrap up in the storage. Get these put away. Uh, let's transfer over some food just because we might as well. Ooh, no. Transfer over the water. Then we can drink both of those. Transfer over that. Let's drink another water while we're here. Might as well. Save our good water for when we actually need it. What's in this crate? What is in this crate? Okay, first aid kit, we'll take that, just in case we run into any trouble. You know, in case one of these guys decides to get aggressive. To be fair, they're already very aggressive, you know, in case they decide to get more aggressive. So let's see, what do we still need? I know we still need the bridge, but did we get the engine? Where is it? Here. Engine, yep, just need one more piece of the bridge. Okay, it's right above us. It's right above us, team. Come on, where's this last bridge fragment? Some dangerous territory right here, guys. There it is. There's the bridge. Wait, is that the bridge or is that the engine? I think that might be the engine. Yep, it's the engine. Run! Run, I can hear it coming. Are we clear? Are we clear? I think we're clear. Alright, just stay low. We stay low. Alright, it can't see us if we're on the ground. It's definitely not true. But you know what? It's what we will go with. 
Okay, so let's just move throughout this area. Scan everything. Find everything we can see. There's a br- Oh, hello! 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 hello. No, 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 Let me go! Let me go! Let me go, son! I said, let me go, boy! Oh my god, they're both here. They're both on us, team. Okay, nope. Now's the time to run. Now's the time to move. Right when we found the last piece, too. And they decided to come at us. Alright, but at least we know where it is. It's on the other side of this hill. You know, actually, we kind of got turned around a bit. Okay, I saw one out there in the shadow. Alright, where's the moth? Quickly repair it. Quickly repair this before it gets any more broken. Whew, starting it off with a nice little jump scare. Alright, here we go. Let's try this again, team. Except this time, we will not fail. Alright, so our bit- Oh, hello. You know what? We were going to try and find a different one, but we found this one instead. This one will do. This one will definitely do. And now, we run for the base. Now we make a run for the base. Nope, I can see it. It's coming at us. Team, it's right behind us. <laughs> just run. Just run. Just run. Just get us out of here. Get us out of here as quick as possible. Where is it? It's above us. It's above us, team. Yep, here it comes. Here it comes, boys. Sorry, where is our base? Nope, 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 nope. Not looking behind me. Not looking behind me. You guys can stay away. Okay. And we decided to go away from our base. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alright, Reaper's up above us. So we just gotta hug the ocean floor. And we'll survive. Alright, we can do this. We can make it out of here. We can make it out of this place. This nightmare of a place. Alright, but we have the Cyclops fully found now. Which means we can finally learn how to build it. So what are we going to need? Alright, we are going to need... Three Plasteel, three Enamel Glass, a Lubricant, and an Advanced Wiring Kit, and three Lead. I'm starting to think it might have been easier to just make the Prawn Suit. I'm not going to lie, it might just be easier for the Prawn Suit. Actually, what does the Prawn Suit need? Prawn Suit needs two Plasteel, two Aerogel, two Diamonds. And why do they both got to be difficult? One needs Diamonds, the other one just needs a ton of Metal. Both got to make it so hard on us. You know what? Change of plans. We're making them both. It's a tall order. Once again, I think we can handle it. Just need to get the diamonds. Because we have the gel sacks for the plastealing. For plasteel. We have the gel sacks for the aerogel. Aside from that, we just need a lot of metal. Uh, we do have a radio message as well. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. Ooh. We have a landing site. I lied. We're going through this, team. Well, it's better than the alternative. No, we'll we'll work on everything. Okay, we'll we'll slowly work on everything. Maybe we might not get the Cyclops today. Maybe we will. Uh, we'll need two of those for the prawn suit. There we go. We won't, buddy. We won't. All right, team. We got 40 minutes until they get here, which means we have 35 until we have to be ready to start heading over. Alright, so, what do we still need? We need a lot of metal. We need a lot of metal. Alright, so let's come out here into the kelp forest, where we know there's going to be plenty of metal. Thank you, stalkers. See, look at that. Already got a metal salvage right here. Alright, now where is more? Give us some more. Make my life easy. Oh, hello. Plentiful. Plentiful amounts of metal. So yeah, we gotta meet him over there. In 39 minutes. But for right now, we can craft up at least one titanium ingot. And maybe one plasteel. I don't know. I have to see how much lithium I have still. I think we should have enough for two. Five might be a bit of a stretch. Alright, so. Plasteel. How much we got? We have one. Well, that shows you how much I've been wanting to get that. Jeez. Alright, so there's one plasteel ingot down at least. You know what? We can at least go out and grab the other titanium we need. But as far as aerogel, we need two rubies. Okay, we can handle that. We can definitely get two rubies. Alright, so there we go. There's one. Now we just need a second one. There we go. You know what? Actually, 
it should have been long enough that I can take off our radiation equipment now. Let's find out. Yep, we're in the clear, team. We are in the clear. Radiation suit can come off. All right, which means that we can finally build some new suits and we can use our rebreather now, which means we don't have to worry about using up too much air anymore. For right now, I think we should just try and focus on collecting some metal. So I'll catch you guys in a bit once we have enough metal to make out either our prawn, our cyclops, or both. Preferably both. All right, team, we have returned back home with all of our titanium. Our base kind of went out off power you know, during the night because still have that whole solar power issue. But we should be taking that care of that in a future episode. Jeez, can't even talk right now. Yeah, we got 30 minutes of my time still. Probably about uh, maybe 10-ish of yours. We have enough titanium now. We still need to go out and get lithium, though. So that is a bigger issue of ours. You know what? We might do it now while our base tries to repower up. But let's craft as much of this into titanium ingots as we can before we fully lose power again. There we go. Can make one. All right, team. And the last titanium ingot that we need. Here it is. We've got four titanium left over in case we need to build stuff. But now we need to go out and get lithium very quickly. Because we still only have about 29 more minutes before the sunrise. Or are they a sunrise? Sunbeam. Sunbeam. Got 29 minutes before the sunbeam arrives. Which means we have about 24 before we have to start heading over. So not a whole lot of time, not a lot of time to get work done. But we do need to come over here and get some lead because lead is one of the big things that we need for the Cyclops as well as the prawn suit. So we'll put that in there. Now let's get moving out here. And the mushroom area should have a ton of lithium. That's where that stuff normally spawns. So we're gonna look around here, see what we can find. Hopefully, we can find enough for our needs, because we need four more lithium at a minimum before we can craft all of the plasteel ingots that we need. Just need to find it. It's a creature egg. Where is it at? Where is it at? I know I saw one out here last episode. Here we go. There is a piece of lithium. What is that? Modification station. Let's grab up the lithium. Now let's keep hunting. Ow. Very proud of us right there. Here's two more. That'll put us up to three and four in terms of how many we need. We just need one more. But we still need to head out there to get the shale that we need for diamond. Although actually we might be able to just get it from this little cliffside right here. There's one. Come on, give us one more. Give me one more. That's all we need. Okay, that's the other lithium we need. You know, we might as well just grab extra while we're out here. Like, it's good. It's good to have it. Plus, I don't really want to be making a ton of just return trips for the same stuff over and over again. Come on, give me the other diamond we need. Where is it at? Limestone, sure. There we go, there it is. Alright, so that's both diamonds now. That's all the lithium. We still need a lot of lead, though. Lead is going to be a big, big, big issue for us. Let's see, got another piece of shale right here. Might as well just break it. Another diamond easy pickups let's come back to the base now and we can set our scanner to start hunting out some sandstone for us so there's some right here on the way come on give me lead you know we need lead game quit hiding it from me now let's not get shot a bunch by those guys come on where's the lead show yourself there's some more sandstone so will it give us more lead? Yes, it does, but our inventory is full. Fantastic. All right, let's store away those diamonds. Actually, let's keep the diamonds on us so we can craft everything once we get back to the base. Store away all this extra gold, the silver. All right, and now we can head down here. Where'd the lead go? Where'd it go? We just broke it. Where'd it go? Now, team, that's not fair. That is not fair. Oop, nope. I saw it. I saw it. It's somewhere in here. Somewhere in the grass. Where is it? Where is it at? There it is. 
Whew, got a bit scared there. I thought we lost it. That would not have been fun. Having to break even more sandstone to find more lead. Alright, but how many lead do we actually need? We need two for that, and we need three for this, so we need five in total. It's gonna be a fun, fun day. Alright, let's get back in here. Let's switch it up to hunt down some sandstone. Make our lives a little bit easier. And while it's looking, we can craft up all the stuff that we already have. And just get everything that we need for right now. Let's see, let's come to here. Uh, we got another piece of lead, so that's good, that's good. It means we only have to look for a few more. There we go, grab up some extra lithium. Might as well. Alright, team, we got 20 minutes. 20 minutes before we are out of time. Let's see, let's put away all of these except four. There we go, we can store the extra silver. We need those diamonds. Alright, and now we need to get the titanium ingots from out of here. Turn them all into plasteel. Oh, it's two lithium per thing. Oh, boys, I seriously underestimated. Okay, and luckily we have just enough. Just enough for all of our needs. Thank God we do not need anything else. Alright, so that's all the plasteel ingots now done. We still need... Enamel glass, which is easy enough. Um, can't say it's easy to get. We need stalker teeth for that, and we need a lot of quartz. But at least we only need four. At least we only need four. We have the arrow gel. We could realistically make the prawn suit now, except we still need the stalker teeth, obviously. Let's put away the diamonds. Let's put away the spare titanium. All right. Now let's head out here and let's try and get some stalker teeth. Now, the way I've seen it done, obviously you can just look on the floor for them. But basically, the way you do it is you drop a piece of metal salvage in front of a stalker, and they'll pick it up, and they're- Ow! Jerk, I'm trying to explain. Yeah, they'll pick it up, and there's a small chance that you'll get one of their teeth when they pick it up. Now, there is another way you can do it, and it's just look along the floor. But that way will obviously take a little bit longer. You know what? There's sandstone here as well. Actually, what am I doing? We didn't even start looking for lead. Jeez, scatterbrain today. So many things to do. Alright, let's get back over here. Let's start searching for sandstone at least. And then we'll go after the soccer teeth. Alright, here we go. Back in the base. What's going on, CBG sub? Alright. Now we are looking for sandstone. There we go. Now while that's searching, we can come back out here and we can try and get the stalker teeth that we need. And then we'll still need to get quartz. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Just need to find one metal salvage, and then we can get to work. So there's sandstone out there. You know what? We'll work our way over to the other kelp forest, because it's at least on the way where we need to go. You know, I should be taking the sub. Should be taking the sub right now. It moves a little bit faster than this, plus it'll save us battery. Come on, guess and Guess and There we go. Alright, team, let's go. Let's go. Plus, if we run out of time while we're over here, we can just book it straight over there. Sandstone chunk right here. Might as well grab it on the way. So, let's see. We have how much lead? We have three. We need at least another two. At least two more. Sandstone chunk here. We'll grab it really quick. Come on, give me lead. We'll take silver, but I don't really want it. Like, I don't want it right now. Alright, let's go. Time to move. Got two sandstone right here. Oh, I know we should be going for the stalker teeth, but the sandstone is so easy to get. Right, let's go, let's grab it. Gold. I swear, if this is not lead... Okay, at least we got one. At least we got one. There we go, we'll take copper. There's one more on the back side of this pillar, which we will grab, and then we're going over and getting the stalker teeth. No exceptions. There we go, that's all the lead we need, team. Now I just need to get stalker teeth. How can you quit it? Jeez. Trying to kill me out here. Good lord. Alright, let's get into here. Now we just need to find their teeth. Once again, we can either do this the easier way, 
or we can just do it where we're looking along the ground. I prefer the easier way, personally. But then again, that is just me. Alright, so where is metal salvage? Because we need metal salvage in order for this to work. There we go. Now, thankfully, there is a little, like, audio cue when they drop their teeth. Otherwise, you would probably never know. Go on, take it. Take it. Quit chasing me and take the metal. Take it, it's right there, come on. Or not. Alright, you know what? The more metal salvage we have, the more we can try. Let's see, any down here? No. Anything, anything at all? There's a stalker up here. And there's a crash right there, apparently. Go on, pick it up. Quit chasing me! Go for the metal salvage! I dropped it for you! Pick it up. Pick it up, bro. Or go for this one, I don't really care. Why? Why? What was the point of that? It's fine, we'll drink up one of these. Alright, let's grab this. Stalker teeth, so difficult to get. Alright team, so... Spent about five-ish minutes. None of the stalkers decided to drop a tooth, so... Now we're gonna we're gonna move over to this area. See if we have better luck on this side of the kelp forest as opposed to over there. Now everything's a bit more spread out, a bit more open. Can see things a little bit better. What's up, stalker? One of you guys want to come and get this metal? Go on, come and get it. Come and get it, boys. Come pick it up. Now let's bring it over to them. Dinner on a plate. Somebody take it. Give us a tooth. Nobody? Nobody gonna take it? Any teeth up in here? No. We do have more metal salvage. Ooh, that's a tooth. That's a tooth right there. We almost missed it. You know what? We got it. We got it, team. And you know what? We can... Go back to our base, and we can start scanning for them. Alright, so let's get back over to the base. And let's try and scan for some more teeth. Because that's definitely going to be the fastest way for us to find them. Alright team, we're back at home. We got just about 8 minutes before we have to start heading over to the Sunbeam location. But here we go. It's time to start scanning for some stalker teeth. That's going to be a problem. Our base is out of power. Problem of using this place at night. Okay, that's also a problem. Let's take that out. Put that back in. Yep. Still seeing all the sandstone. So you know what? Looks like we're doing this manually for right now. At least until it turns daytime. You know what? We need to take the sea, sea moth. We need to take the sea moth. It's going to be faster. It's going to be easier. Alright, we're looking for teeth, team. We are looking for teeth. Oh, power's back online. Never mind, we're going back. Here we go. Come on, we got this. We got this. Alright, should be easy now that we have our scanner back online. We're not going to dock our Seamoth just because it's going to drain up all of the power in the base. But we are going to start hunting for the Stalker Teeth. Let's go, take you offline. There it is, Stalker Tooth. Now we can start having our scanner room look for that. Now we can hurry up and get out here. Alright, because we got exactly six minutes. There's one. Already found one. You know what? This is going to be pretty easy now. It's going to be very, very easy. Two. Alright, we need five. Wait, do we need five? No, we need four. We need four. Okay. Shouldn't be too big of an issue now. We only need four. There it is. There's all the ones we need. Jeez, how have we missed these before? Why are there so many now? Like, where did they all come from now? Alright, let's go. Let's head home. Just now we need to start scanning for quartz. We need to be quick, alright? We are running out of time. We are definitely running out of time. Alright, so let's park it up right here. Right outside the main door. Let's store this all away really quick. There we go. Nope, we need that. We're going to need that when we go over to the Sunbeam location. Alright, but now we're on the hunt for quartz. 
Empires of Quartz, right there. Alright team, out into the world we go again. Because we need how many? We need enamel glass. We need one for you. And we need three for you. We also need an advanced wiring kit. Yikes. Gonna be pushing it. Gonna be pushing it. And we need lubricant apparently. This is gonna be a big episode, team. It's gonna be a very big episode. You know what? We can get the lubricant really quick. What do we need for an advanced wiring kit? Where is it? Where is it? Here. Two gold, a wiring kit, and a computer chip. Jeez! This stuff really wants to make us work. You know what? I think we can actually do that. Alright, let's grab the creep vine seed cluster. How much space do we have left? Got four slots. It's not going to be enough. That is not going to be enough for all of the quartz that we need. Because we need eight quartz at a minimum. Alright, let's go. Let's go over here. Alright, let's put those into storage. Let's turn this into lubricant. Come on team, we can do this. Alright, we can get this done before we have to leave. Let's go, time to move quick. Time to move fast. Alright, we need eight quartz. Right now we have three, six on the map. Six on the map and we got four minutes to do this. I think we can handle it. I think we can definitely handle this. And you know what? We might save meeting up with the Sunbeam for the next episode. Because leaving with five minutes to spare would give us time to just explore around the area for a minute. But if we leave with just enough time to get over there, which is about two to three minutes, should give us just enough time. So we might save that for next episode. We might just build the Cyclops and the Prawn Suit today. And tomorrow we will go and meet up with the Sunbeam. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a plan to me. So let's see how many we get. Two, four, six, seven. There's one right over here by the Sea Moth. Alright. Here we go. There we go. That is the last bit of quartz we need. Let's get back into the base. Let's build up all the stuff we need before we have to build this Cyclops and Prawn Suit. So here we go. Just park up. Hop out. And now we can get to work with building. So let's see, we need all of this to be enameled glass. So I need all of these stalker teeth now. So here we go, let's come into here, let's make the glass. It's one. We need four. Two. Three. And four. Alright, there we go. Now we got enameled glass. Okay, three and four. We have our lubricant. I'm pretty sure we have everything we need. Aerogel, plasteel ingots, diamonds. Aerogel, there we go. Let's see, we need we need the advanced wiring kit still. Still need the advanced wiring kit. Okay. So we can come into here. First off, we need to cancel that quartz, because that is going to get on my nerves seeing all of that quartz out there. Especially when we don't need it come into here let's grab the extra gold that I need uh, swap those over there we go need table coral still but we can craft our wiring kit first and then we can go out here and grab the table coral right, let's go let's hurry this up come on speed speed is the name of the game uh, geez that is not good okay let's come back inside very quickly so we do need to put away one thing. Actually, no, let's drop it right here. Let's drop a piece of titanium right here on our main base. We'll grab it in a minute once we're all done. Here we go. Let's craft this. Grab that, grab that. All right, now we head back in. That should be everything we need to build the advanced wiring kit. All right, so we need copper wire, which... How do we not have enough copper? Yeah, what? How? How do we not have enough copper? I'm trying to tell me we didn't get enough copper. Okay, we need to scan for limestone really quick. Alright, because I am not about to go out there and waste all of our time just trying to hunt for it. Alright, let's go. Limestone chunk. We'll jump out through the moon pool. Here we go. Come on, give me one. 
Give me one really quick right next to the base. Where is it? Where is it? Come on, we need to do this like now, please. Yo, scanner room, let's go. Do your job. We do have the HUD chip on, right? There's one. There's one. Be the copper that I need. Be the copper I need. Nope, it's titanium. Not good, team. Not good. Right, we are running out of time. Very quickly running out of time. Let's grab this. Copper. Yep, copper. Alright, now we head back to the base. And what else do we need for the advanced wiring kit? I don't think we need anything. I think we have everything. Let's see, let's get the copper wire. Then we get the computer chip. And I'm pretty sure it's just a piece of gold. Yep, alright, we got it. So that should be everything we need to build both the prawn suit and the cyclops. Jeez, we are storming our way through this. All right, let's get up to here very quickly, where we left our mobile vehicle bay. There we go, let's climb on. All right, we need to make the prawn suit first, so that way it doesn't land on top of the cyclops. What are we missing? Oh my god, we're missing the lead. Team, we're missing the lead. I'm also gonna save, just because I don't want us to die. All right, go, go, get us back down here very quick. Go, 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 go. Alright, we need the lead. We need the lead, team. Where'd it go? I know we did not stop until we got all the lead. So where is it all at? Did we leave it in the... Did we leave it in here? We left it in here. There we go. Alright, that's all of the lead we need. Now we need to hurry back up to the surface. Alright, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Prawn suit's up there. Actually, that could be a problem. Is it on the surface? Yeah, it's on the surface. Alright, so we just need to hop in it very quick. And then it'll drop down to the floor. There we go. Alright, down here on the sea floor. Just waiting for the Cyclops to get here. Come on, we gotta move. We gotta move, team. You know what? Yeah, we'll just go and meet up with the Sunbeam right now. There is a lot to explore over there, though. So, we'll probably just leave it over there once we're done. How do you need deeper water? This water is over 100 meters deep. Alright, let's go. Come on. Let's hurry this up. Alright, let's build it. Let's build it right here. Go. Climb aboard. All aboard. This should be deep enough. There we go. Alright. We got it, team. We got the Cyclops built. Now I need to hurry over to where the Sunbeam is waiting on us. Come on, hop in the water. Let's go. You know what? We're going to take the Seamoth. We're going to take the Seamoth. It's going to make it a little bit easier for us because we don't have to worry about everything else. Let's get going, alright? So... We can cancel this scan first, because, again, it's going to get on my nerves. Grab a spare water out of the filtration machine. There we go. Let's just grab those. And now we need to move. All right, now is the time when we need to hurry. Nice little voice crack there, all right? We're just trying to hurry. All right, where is our Cyclops? Cyclops up there. Why is it in the air? Why is it in the air right now? Yeah, why is it in the air? Oh, Hello. Okay, just hadn't dropped in yet. There it is. There is our Cyclops and our Prawn Suit down there. Now I need to hurry up over to where the Sunbeam is going to land. Because we got a thousand meters to go in two minutes. Alright team, I think we're going to make it. We've made it about 500 meters in 30 seconds. So yeah, we should make this very easily. We do have food in our storage, which we can eat in just a second. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Alright, we can do this nice and easy. All right, now there is a very deep area out here which we are going to be taking the Cyclops to go and explore. Purely because it can go a lot deeper than our Seamoth can right now. So yeah, it's that area right out in that direction over there. But here is the other island that you guys can explore if you're playing along with us. Here we go, team. You know what? That's a good idea. If you guys are playing along with us, and you have gotten at least close to the point that we are at, tweet me a picture of your guys' base. I want to see how impressive you guys are building in this game. Alright, because I know that I'm not the best base builder, so I want to see what you guys can do. Alright, let's go. There we go. Alright, team. 30 seconds before they arrive. We're here, team. We're here. We've made it. There's the giant building over there, which we need to explore. 
And that's not good. That's not good. Yep. Prepare the sad music. Two seconds, here we go. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't yep. know how you they see out us. There. We can uh we can't respond to them, team. The we can't tell them not to come down and get us. Oh god, it's about it's turning to night. Oh team, it's about to turn to night. Oh uh, boys, they're there. They're right there. It's coming from the building. Boys, goodbye. Goodbye, Sunbeam. RIP. RIP the boys the Sunbeam. Alright, team. But on that very sad note, that's where we're going to call it for today. In the next episode, we're going to go off and explore the building a little bit. We're also going to be exploring that deeper area over there with our new Cyclops and our prawn suit. Once again, that's where we're going to call it for today, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. Make sure you subscribe. And turn on your notifications so you know when we post new content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. to